I say yo. Welcome to the BBW show. You feel me? We talk bad rap, basketball, and wrestling. Follow me on Instagram at Hoops Raps and Wrestling. Follow me on Twitter at Hoops Wrestling. Today is NBA Power Rankings. You feel me? You know what that's like. Every week we talk about the five best teams throughout the week. Not the best teams with the best record. The teams that had the toughest competition from the last seven days. Now, Two weeks ago, I said the playoffs have begun. Right after All-Star game, the playoffs have begun. It's like 30 games left. Every game means something right now. You feel me? Every game means something. The Eastern Conference is so bunched up. Like, it's literally going to come down to the wire. You feel me? The Western Conference, the Clippers and the Suns got the first two seeds taken up. You feel me? Respectfully. So it's only between about three, four, and five. But the East is a free-for-all. Now, why was this the best week of basketball last week? Everybody won a game on their own. We had LeBron go for 56. We had Kyrie go for 50. We had Tatum go for 54. We had Embiid and Joker go for 40s. You feel me? Like, everybody was wilding. You feel me? Everybody was wilding. This is perfect. Also, I'm bringing something new to the channel. L5WM. The last five with Mike. You feel me? We're going to review the last five minutes of the game. And do a reaction, you feel me? We're going to start it tomorrow with the Brooklyn Nets versus Philadelphia 76ers. You feel me? Let's get into these power rankings, though. Speaking of Philly, last week they beat the Knicks, the Bulls, the Cavs, and lost to the Heat. You feel me? Since they got James Harden, they are on timing. I'm not going to lie. They looking real good. You got Harden and Bede and Maxi playing good. You feel me? They are looking very scary. You feel me? They got to be at my power rankings this week. Number two, the Boston Celtics, you feel me? They beat the Hawks, Memphis, and the Brooklyn Nets. They are playing great right now. I'm not going to lie. I've been up and down on Boston. At first, I said they should keep Tatum and Brown. Then I said they should trade them. Now I'm saying they should keep them, you feel me? They have been up and down all season. I'm not going to lie. But right now, they're up, you feel me? The Boston Celtics stock is very high up. They're number two on my power rankings. Number three. We got the Heat, you feel me? The Heat beat the Rockets, the 76ers, and the Nets. And when they beat the Nets, they had no Jimmy Butler, no Kyle Lowry, no P.J. Tucker. That's a big deal. I've been telling people all year, Miami is lit, you feel me? Once they get healthy, they going to wreck shop. They got the first seed, and they haven't barely been healthy this year. I ain't going to lie. Jimmy Butler missed a couple games. Bam missed a couple games. Kyle Lowry missed games. Their most consistent play has been Tyler Hero. You feel me? And they still the first seed in the East right now. They're in my list. Number four, we got the Denver Nuggets. I ain't gonna lie, I gotta put them in there. The Denver Nuggets. Last week, they beat the Pelicans, the Rockets, and the Warriors. You feel me? And Jokic has been going crazy. You feel me? I just put up a video last night. Why the NBA media disrespect Nikola Jokic. You feel me? He's been smoking stuff. Your man's had 43... I think 15 and 11. Like, bro, he's the real deal, bro. Jokic is definitely one of the most underrated MVPs we've ever had. I'm not going to lie, because he already got an MVP. His games is not on TNT. I haven't seen him on TNT all season. You feel me? And they still smoking. First take, don't talk about him. Skip and Shannon, don't talk about him. But his numbers, bro, is crazy. I'm not going to lie. Jokic is the real deal. And my 15... The number five, we're going to go with the Dallas Mavericks. I ain't going to lie. Right now, the Mavs is on a five-game winning streak. Tonight, they play the Nets, so it might be a six, the Knicks, so it might be a six-game winning streak. Last week, the Mavs beat the Lakers, the Warriors twice, the Kings, the Jazz, and that's it. You feel me? They are smoking. I've been saying this since last year. Once they get rid of Chris Dallas Porzingis, we're going to see the Dallas, Mavericks, the Dallas Mavericks' real potential. We're going to see how good they really are. Because they got Porzingis, and they paying him like a superstar, but he doesn't play at all. You feel me? So it's like, once y'all get rid of him and y'all could get something back for him, we're going to see how good y'all really are. And for the first two years, Luka went up against Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, back-to-back -back in the playoffs. Guess who's not making the playoffs this year? Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. So Luka, like... He might get out the second round, bro, respectfully. There's nobody that I feel like is to lock down Luka. I ain't going to hold you. Nobody can lock him down. You feel me? 
Kawhi Leonard it was uh, is probably the best defensive guard in the A. You feel me? He wasn't locking Luca down. Like Luca, bro, he could go if he go to the semi. He could go to the conference finals this year. I'm not gonna lie. Luca could carry the bro. It's gonna be a ball. I ain't gonna lie with you. Luca, John Morant, Spider Mitchell, the Suns, the Lakers suck. So we're not gonna talk about them. But it's gonna come down to a battle, bro. I cannot wait. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.